Hey everybody, welcome back to the Eco Fishing Shop channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put the star pike down into the bag again. After getting it inflated, it can be a little tough sometimes, so uh, let's get into it. First, I start by taking the valve cap off and then pushing the nozzle in the inside to the right. And then that'll start letting all the air out. Um, I usually push all the air out from one side. Kind of just walk all the air out and create more pressure towards the valve in the front. That'll help the air come out naturally to where you don't have to actually do a lot of work. And in a second here, once we get all the air out, we'll be getting to the folding process. Now this tip right here is the most important part of the entire video. Make sure whenever you fold the keel that the keel is in sideways. See how the end here is flat. You want to have a full 90 degree fold in right there. That way your keel is tucked and you cannot have any keel sticking out in that bag. Otherwise it will not fit. Now after we make sure our keel's tucked, we make sure we have a flat fold, uh, meaning there's no fold coming out on either side. It's straightforward fold. Uh, we want to make sure it's super, super tight fold. So even if you have to unfold it and refold it to make sure it's as tight as possible, I would recommend that. While you're folding it up, you might realize you have some excess air. You want to get all that out. Make sure you have no air in it because you want it to be as tight as possible to fit down into the bag. Now you're going to want to start from the other side here. Uh, we're just going to basically do the same thing. Make sure we have a full 90 degree fold tucking that keel out of the way. Now you might get into a situation where it becomes uh, not even like when you fold one side, it doesn't get even with the other. I recommend just trying to fold it maybe the other way or tucking that keel under the uh, other end like so. Now you might have to have a little bit of manhandling with it. Uh, it takes a little bit of play and a little bit of a sweet spot to find where that keel tucks in the best and where it gets uh, skinnier whenever you roll it up all the way. With a little bit of force and some patience, we found out how to get it completely flat. Just kind of tuck that keel and maybe a little bit of more force to smush it down, make sure it's flat as possible and tight as possible before you try to put it into the bag. We went ahead and got our bag and put it sideways to the boat, um, picked it up here and uh, it doesn't look pretty at first, but kind of just have to uh, set it down and then make sure you have all of the bag around the board. When you get to this part, it's gonna feel a little discouraging. Uh, you just gotta make sure you go through it and get all four corners of that bag around the board. It's gonna be really tight, but uh, just just stick along with it. As long as you have those keels tucked, you should be able to smush the bag around it, get the top over it, and uh, do a little bit of manhandling, and, and you'll get it in there. Now you want to stand the bag up a little bit, uh, get it upright, make sure you can get all that weight towards the bottom of the bag zip up the right side and uh, you might have to do a little smushing on the board to get it, that zipper to close all the way uh, flipped it around here brought the other zipper up the other side and uh, we got her all zipped up and ready to go now this isn't detrimental to the whole entire packaging but i do like these clips on the side you can clip them and then use the strap to pull it tight it really smushes that board in there it keeps the stress off the zippers and uh Make sure you have it tight as possible and it's easiest to carry. It's not flopping around. And that concludes the Star Pike packaging video. Just want to create this small little video for you guys to watch to help you guys package this. So uh, subscribe to Eco Fishing Shop. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. But other than that, I'm out and uh, see you guys.